Here from Screen Factory, we have the double feature bill on Blu-ray of The House Where Evil Dwells from 1982 and 1986's Ghost Warrior, a.k.a. Sword Kill. You know, I really dig some of these uh, combo packs, if you want to call them that, or double feature disc, whatever you want to say the Screen Factory's been doing. They seem to take like some titles that maybe might not do so well on their own and just throw them together. So you end up with, you know, at least your money's worth, even if you don't necessarily dig the movie that you're getting. Uh, the House Where Evil Dwells is actually pretty good, I thought. The movie starts off with this uh, samurai coming home to find that his wife is being a little bit unfaithful with another man. Uh, cue some really cool Japanese house shots and some really cool, uh, I guess you could say just the settings look really cool. And he brings out the samurai sword and he gets to uh, doing some business with that. Fast forward now to a more modern day and you have an American family coming to Japan to move into the same house where the three ghosts are still hanging around and apparently they want to react out the, uh, the the scene that happened at the start of the film so they start messing with uh, with the characters and they cause them to do things that normally wouldn't be things that they would do and uh, you know it just kind of goes from there and it kind of spirals into some pretty goofy stuff entertaining stuff but some very goofy stuff but still fun I still can't stress that enough I really really like this movie actually and, uh, you know, he, the next thing you know, the guy's friend's there, and the wife's kind of getting a little bit too friendly with him. And, of course, he's doing stuff he shouldn't do. There's a kid there, and the kid kind of disappears. I mean, maybe I missed something, but the kid seems to kind of disappear somewhere near the end of the film. Uh, there's some creatures. I don't want to spoil this if you haven't seen it, but there's some very humorous, giant-sized, uh, we'll just call it creatures, for spoiler's sake, that comes into play at one point. And uh, it's just, it, it is what it is. It's fun. It's, it's goofy, but it's fun. It's entertaining. It's nothing you're going to want to take too serious by any means, but if you want to just kick back and watch something that you could turn your brain off to and watch, then I would definitely su suggest The House Where Evil Dwells. Our next one is Ghost Warrior, a.k.a. Sword Kill. Uh, pretty sure that this is an Empire Picture title, so shout out to Charles Band and his magical warehouse where he finds all those out-of-print things. Uh, this one's, I, you know, it starts off back in the old days and our samurai friend here, if I can point to the right one, he's kind of, uh, you know, in battle and something happens and it's kind of like in Simo Man. He gets froze and he gets thawed out years later in modern times. Uh, of course, he's naturally freaked out when he first uh, unthaws and he commits some questionable acts. And uh, this leads him to the streets of the big city where the samurai befriends a homeless man, battles some gang members, kind of befriends a female scientist that's a part of the team looking for him and then goes on a bit of a cat and mouse thing uh, trying to run away from the uh, evil government that are scientists that want to do experiments on him. There's a pretty good gore there as well. Not as good as the first film on this release, but probably equally as goofy and entertaining regardless. So if you just want a double bill of very goofy stuff that just so happens to do the samurais, then this is a really good combo pack to pick up, and it looks great. I think the house where Evil dwells looks really good, especially at the start of it with the samurai stuff. It looks almost like a current film, the way that looked. Um, Ghost Warrior looks okay, too. I mean, it's not like five out of five popping off the screen time stuff, but it's good. And, you know, looking on the back here, you can see there there really isn't any extras listed, so that goes to tell you that these, these don't really have no extras. So, you're getting two movies, you're not really getting an extra, but you're getting good, goofy entertainment value for your money. And uh, who can argue with that? There's the reverse cover with the unfortunate hole that the press copies always have in them. Uh, kind of like that reverse cover a little bit better, I think, than I do this one. What do you think? That? Or, I can do this. That. Nonetheless, like I said, it looks good. They're goofy, but it's a good goofy Empire picture, so you kind of know what you're getting with the, at least the second film. I don't think the first is, uh, the first is like, what's that, what's that coming called? What's on there? UA, UA, United America, I think. <laughs> United America, or whatever. I don't know. It's late, but it's a good movie. For what it is. And Ghost Warrior has its entertainment value as well, even though it's not as good of a movie. So, there you are. If you want to watch it, pick it up. It's available now. And I would, I would have bought it. If that sent to me, this is one I would have bought because I think it's, it's got rewatch value, especially in parties where you got a lot of friends around. So, get, give it a watch if you want to.